right, it's Wallet Wednesday time. Americans are dealing with record credit card debt to the tune of nearly 1.2 trillion yeah, dollars. Yeah, that was with a T. Yikes. Mm. A recent study shows the average Oregonian carries just under $6,500 in debt. Now, many of those card holders are not able to pay their bills in time, and that's why data shows there's been an increase in consumers seeking credit counseling. Joining us live with more on the state of credit right now and why having a plan can help bring your balances back down is Tara Alderete. She's a financial educator with Money Management International. We also have client and Portland resident Holly Dolan. Appreciate the time to both of you. And hopefully we got you there. Uh, Tara, I do want to talk about how bad credit card debt is in the U.S. and, of course, in Oregon as well. When we, we try to quantify it with that trillion figure, but really, what, is that, what does that mean? How much debt are people dealing with right now? And you know what? It sounds like we're struggling with the I'm sorry, audio, we're not hearing unfortunately. You. Are we yeah. able to double check and make sure we're not on mute anywhere? Um, and we'll see if we can... Yeah. There we there go. We go. I think okay. we somebody now. We got you okay. now. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, yeah. So Tara, uh, try to quantify this, this debt problem for us. Sure. So what we're seeing is debt that people are dealing with over time is steadily increasing. Um, in Oregon, we've seen a 32% increase in demand for our services. And the folks that are coming to us have 9% higher debt on average than they had last year. So it's definitely on the, on the uptick. Mm. Oh, my goodness. And for anyone at home who is sitting there thinking, yeah, I've got some debt on these credit cards and it feels like it is just piling up and overwhelming. Um, Holly, you know that feeling. You've actually paid off over $42,000 in debt after signing up for a debt management plan with MMI. So tell us about what that process was like for you and what you learned from this counseling. Um, it was really pretty easy. I think actually I started the process, we were living in Canada temporarily. And so I actually started it long distance, had a friend who had used the company and so um, got everything set up and really getting started and everything. And even the whole process was very simple. Um, and I'm glad I did it. Yeah. With, with that said, I mean, sometimes with, you know, financial burdens and, and credit card debt specifically, it can feel so overwhelming that just getting started and chipping away and tackling can be so tough. What, what is your advice, Holly, to, to people who just need to maybe pick up the phone and, and just get that first step out the door with trying to tackle their debt? I, you know, it sounds like a cliche, but you're right. It's the first step is the hardest, but the longer you wait to take that first step, the longer you're going to be in debt. And the the sooner you do it, the sooner you're going to be done. And you can always make that call, go online, do it. And if it's not right for you at that time, you don't have to enter into it. But I think anyone who actually starts the process and looks into it will say, yeah, this is what I need to do. Mm -hmm. So, Tara, what does that process look like? What can somebody expect when they begin uh, credit counseling? Sure. So they will reach out to us at MMI and initially meet with a counselor and do an overview of their financial situation and budget. So they'll take a look at their income and expenses as well as their debt. And then we will talk about how to get them out of debt and back on track. And what that looks like is working with creditors to lower interest rates, um, consolidate one monthly payment to us, we disperse that payment to creditors. You're paid off on average in a little less than five years, and we see an average savings of over $40,000. It's incredible. Wow. wow. I mean, what are those those first steps? I mean, especially when, you know, in Holly, in your case, you know, it was a little more than $42,000 in debt. Tara, what do you say to somebody who is, is staring that in the face and they think, okay, this is just too too big of a mountain to climb? What is that first step you give them? You know, I have to agree with Holly, just pick up the phone. I think that is the hardest thing to do. And once you do it, I think it's all downhill from there. Our counselors are amazing and they are here to listen and help without judgment. And it's really truly what you're gonna get. So picking up that phone is the first thing you can do. Yeah, we know that the end of the year can be a tough time as we mm -hmm. head into the holidays here. Times are already a, a, a tough lot of folks are loading up those own, cards yeah. to kind of get through, you know, Christmas and, and holiday gatherings and travel and all that. So a call right now to get that plan in place before 2025 uh, would be a, a great strategy. How can people sign up, Tara, for, for debt management? Sure. So you can just go right online to moneymanagement.org and everything you need is there. You can do this over the phone or online. It's quick and it's easy and we're waiting to help you.
Yeah, I think that's great. Uh, Tara and Holly, I really appreciate it. Holly, thanks for sharing your story. You yeah. know, a lot of people are uh, afraid to talk about their debt story, but mm -hmm. I'm glad to see the success for you on the other end of the tunnel. That's, that's great stuff. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate Thank the you. time. And for more advice on how to tackle your credit card debt, just head to their website. That's moneymanagement.org. That's $42,000 in debt. You create that plan. You just chip away at it steadily. Yeah. You know, all those financial moments, too. 